Hi, I'm Holly and I'm one of the Barbecue Moves Young Reviewers and tonight I'm here to see Jonathan. This is billed as a coming together of uh, Eastern and Western musical traditions. Now it's not something like anything I've ever seen before, but I have a friend who enjoys and performs traditional Indian music and she's told me to expect a synchronisation of vocals and rhythm. And I'm really interested to see how that's going to come together with Johnny Greenwood's electronic influence. So let's go! Hello there. It's the morning after the night before and I'm back here at the lovely Barbican and I want to tell you all about what I saw last night, which is Janoon. But before I tell you all about it, I wanted to mention their support act first. Their support act was Our Cosmos, at least I think that's how it's pronounced, and they were electronic musicians from Istanbul. Now I only know this because I googled it afterwards, so at the time I had absolutely no idea what it was I was about to experience and I was very pleasantly surprised. So, it started off with this sort of really dark, brooding electronic music that was sort of, it was very simple and very clear cut. But then after about four minutes, after it gradually building, this intense bass kicked in and I couldn't take my eyes off of them. I felt sort of stuck still in my seat. And the thing that I found most impressive was the way she built the music and she remembered every single intricate layer of that. Not only to build it but then to bring it back down again and her guitarist remembered all of his chords too and there was sort of maybe four or five complex pieces of music that lasted a good maybe seven or eight minutes and I was just blown away by how she managed to do that and both of them were so involved in the the, the rhythm and, it, and it's the music at the same time. So yes, I was very, very pleased, pleasantly surprised and impressed. Moving swiftly on to the main event, Janoon. Janoon is an album and film created by Radiohead's guitarist Johnny Greenwood and Israeli composer called Shai Ben Zur and a nine-strong percussion band from India called the Rajasthan Express. It is a blend of Eastern and Western music sung in Hindi, Hebrew and Urdu and last night the Barbican was their first UK full performance. It started with absolutely no hesitation, some incredible percussion drumming beat, and the first thing that hit me was how unbelievable their timing was. Within a couple of minutes, the brass section and the guitarist had joined in, and we had this sort of hypnotic Middle Eastern music. I actually closed my eyes for a moment and felt like I could have been in a square in India somewhere. Another thing that really stood out to me was how even though it was three different sets of musicians who all had their own musical influences, they sort of came together as one. They knew each other's rhythms and their synchronisation and I think that's a real testament to how long they spent together in India creating this. Which also made me realise how influenced the artists that I listen to now are by all sorts of musical traditions. There was a lot of beats in there that felt really familiar to the things I listen to now which made me realise how universal music is and there doesn't need to be one single language and I think that's why it's so affecting. I found myself enjoying some sections more than others. There was quite an intense, heavy middle section made up by really repetitive beats and sort of vocal chants. But then after that we were lifted up by this unbelievably cheery and upbeat music that again just felt really familiar. It felt like something you'd find in a festival or on a, on a parade somewhere. My only other slight criticism was the encore. So with their last song, again, it was really, really upbeat and they'd really hyped up the audience and everyone was giving them a standing ovation. Um, and then they sort of did their bows and began their encore. However, the encore was so long that although they had everyone up on their feet, people kind of began to sit back down again. And I thought it might have been better for them to go out on the bang that they had originally created. But overall, I thought it was a really, really fantastic show. I felt like I'd sort of unknowingly and accidentally walked into a bit of a masterpiece and I feel really lucky to have had this sort of new thing opened up to me. Now if you want to hear more about how it was made, as I said it is a film on iTunes uh, called Janun and there's also a really fantastic Rolling Stones interview available online between Johnny Greenwood and Shai Ben Zur and they talk about how they met and how they came together to create it and the time they spent in India in a makeshift studio in a 15th century fort. So it's really really interesting to hear all about how it came together. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if you saw it and also if you have any other tips of what I should see next now that I've had my musical horizons broadened. That's it from me and I'll see you next time. Bye!